Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Tidy Stash for uh, Tarkov players. Um, I'm going to be discussing something really, um, a really common, common like not issue, but a common um, category that kind of comes up now and then when I'm talking, when I'm playing with friends or um, talking to followers and subs and stuff like that. Um, it's going to be about like um, stash organization. Um, we're going to jump right into the our stash real quick, and I'll show you guys what's going on. All right, so basically we're at our stash. The very, very top, uh, how we how I organize my stash um, at the, usually the beginning of the wipe or towards the mid, since we're now at kind of mid-wipe, or I would think it's mid-wipe. It's probably still early for a lot of people, um, but... What I, what I kind of want to focus on is the three main kind of like uh, ammo boxes here. Uh, these magazine boxes are uh, kind of kind of important when, once you're going to start making your own builds and you start like thinking about, hey, what do I need to build? What do I need to do? Um, what are kind of my loadouts I really want to run and play with this game? Um, obviously, we have one, one uh, ammo box called Empty. Um, a magazine box called SMG, and another a magazine box called Full Mags. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. One is full of your empty mags that you will use, like your VSS or VAL or whatever, and your AKs, your special AKs, your M61s, and your um, M995s. Uh, basically cover the, how, how your play style, what you really usually like to run. Uh, SMG pistols, same thing, MP7s, uh, Glocks, and your five sevens and stuff like that. And then for full mags, these are kind of ones you're on. This is again being cleanly about your stash, talking about it's important to have those mags already ready to topped up, already ready to go. Cause when you're when you're in when you're about to run run into your uh, your raid or something, and you don't, the last thing you want to do is be filling mags, filling bullets, waiting for your teammates to do that. So have these ready for your like if you have a team or your first run of the day or something, you want to just click and run these right into your into your pouch here. So I think that is a really really interesting way to keep keep yourself ready and cleanliness and you're clean for the next round. Uh, we already talked about the RTG cases here. These are just the weapons cases. Uh, I think it's worth it to buy one grenade box. Uh, no need for two or multiples. I don't really think so unless you're using gr five grenades every single raid and you're dying constantly. Uh, I find that like it's mostly you'll find them on uh, on people you'll kill. Uh, they'll have at least two or three on them. Uh, just pick them up and put them in there whenever you use. Personally, I only use two, two or three at max. I, I really don't throw grenades as much as I should. I'll, I'll work on that though. Ammo boxes, pretty self self explanatory. Um, you got your extra, your American rounds, and your Russian rounds. Um, these are kind of, I, I, I think it's a really fun way and a really easy way to keep your stash clean as well. That way you're not just running into like, oh, where do I put my, where do I put my, my bullets I don't know, I don't need, or ones I haven't found in raid and crap like that. So obviously extras I use for um, LPS rounds or like um, any any Mosin round at all, any SMG rounds, shotgun rounds, pistol rounds, I'll just throw them into there. Uh, if you use more of them, obviously make it big, bigger deal. Get yourself an own, your own ammo box for your pistols. Self-explanatory for the American rounds, uh, M61s, M995s, M62s, stuff like that. And then uh, Russian rounds, SP6, BP, 7N39, stuff like that. The biggest thing I think for me though is the uh, the prep box aka the lucky scav box this one i'm prepping for not only barter items but i'm also prepping for uh, uh, some some extra um, ingredients for my hideout so and i don't have my solar panels yet so i'm stacking up my graphics cards so when i do i will be ready and i could just immediately have 50. Uh, just kind of how i do it you can organize it any way you want. Obviously, I do. I do a lot of vases and teapots simply because of the Zuck 6A. So I use those whenever I get to uh, Ragman level four. I'll be able to craft those immediately, if need be. I like having a firearms case as well. One and one is fine unless you're running a lot of pistol runs. 
Uh, just find the best pistols or ones you find in raid. The FIR just stands, stands for found in raid. Uh, the biggest ones, though, uh, that we'll go into next episode, we'll be talking about the next section of our stash is kind of the quick loadout or the, our prep bags and also our our eye cases and how important eye cases are. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Come back for tomorrow. I'll make another one about eye cases and our black rocks in our prep bags. But with that in mind, guys, I've got three things for you. Have fun, good luck, and sign off.